So, as we said, first thing first, I think one thing I just just noticed in this view, actually, check your eye line. If it gets a little bit over to the right, yeah. okay, it will encourage the putter now to go back underneath your eye line. So you'll see your putter now wants to go back. You get back a little bit there, but it will go out to underneath your eye line, which is reasons why you're sort of cutting across it. Yeah. Simple check, you can show number four, put the ball in the brilliant nose and drop it. See where the ball lands. That'll tell you whether your eyes are over the ball or not, okay? But what we're looking for you to try and do is get a good strike and a good roll. Now, the two object golf balls here. I normally do concentrate on that. Yeah, the eye line, yeah. Ball, yeah. Eye line, but yeah. Um, I think sometimes you might almost go too far. Like people who concentrate on getting their eyes over the ball go too far. <laughs> They're right. so concentrated trying to get over the ball, yeah. they often go a little bit too fast. I wasn't thinking about that though, I was thinking about what exactly. we were doing. Only doing thinking of one thing at a time, obviously, which is, which is what you uh-huh. expected. But I think, to be fair, what I would suggest is once a month, once a fortnight, probably just check it just to make sure it's in the right position because it's so easy to keep creeping forward and forward and forward. And once the eyes do get too far over, you're going to cut across it because your eyes, your eye line, wherever that may be, the paddle will follow that. Like if you're too far inside, the paddle will come back. So that will encourage the, what the cut across. That will encourage what you were having with the cut across. So okay. you can see before when that putter went back, okay, as the club face went back now, it was going outside the line, cutting across the golf ball, and the face now was opening. So at this point here now, that putter, you want to start the golf ball somewhere there, and the ball's aiming over there, so the club's aiming over there somewhere. So as you come back to the golf ball now, it's going to potentially be a toey strike, as we can see, a little towards the toe of the club. The ball now with the putter face swinging left, okay, and trying to twist and flick that putter. Look how far left that putter's aiming, and the ball's actually going towards the flag and curving off to the right. So you had a lot of this going on with the putter, a lot of face rotation, which again, if the club face is doing that throughout the stroke, unless you catch it at the exact spot the club face gets square, it's either too far left or too far right. But because you were opening the club face, more often than not, it was going to drift off to the right. Okay? Yeah, the first one the ball. Exactly, 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 yeah. Perfect timing. Exactly. So, with these, this drill here now, the two balls on the outside, obviously, we're trying to miss. And you can practice with that even in the golf ball, just swinging the putter through those two golf balls, trying to miss them. Just to yeah. groove a stroke, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're going to practice this, say, at home with Grace, you put the golf ball in the middle there now. So we've got a nice line there on that golf ball that your putter now is going to line up towards. And all you're trying to do is draw the straightest line with the golf ball, okay? Yeah. So if the putter now goes back, okay, nice and straight, okay? We see the club face now not opening up quite so much. When you come back to the golf ball... It's a much little bit towy there, to be fair, but not bad. At least the putter is straight to target. So we can see now as that ball is leaving the club face, that black line is rolling end over end, as we can see. Yeah. So you're getting a lot better roll. Like I say, good putters roll the ball well and they strike out the middle of the club. Now, just because you can do that doesn't make you a good putter, but I think over time, once you start striking it yeah. consistent, judging distance will be easy. Okay. Yeah. Judgment of distance comes from having a consistency of either release of the ball or a hit of the golf ball. So when you look at kids when they first start throwing a ball, they don't know when to release the ball. So they might release it over their head, it goes behind them, release it down the floor. So trying to chuck the ball to someone is quite tricky. Yeah. Once they then realise, okay, if I throw my arm there and release it here, it will go to that person, we can then judge distance. But with putting, if you're striking at the top, <clears throat> as you were more often than not, and as a glancing blow, you're hitting the ball with sort of 75%-ish power, spinning it. When well, you're yeah. trying to judge that distance, again, over the longer putts, it's going to be a nightmare. You're going to really struggle, because then what will happen is then the first two or three greens you play on, you keep coming up short, you come up short, coming up short, and then you'll get on the fifth or sixth, you're going, right, don't be short, bang, and you just whack it. And that makes sense, because almost, I reckon, probably 95% of my putts are yeah. short. It's short and probably just with the right side. But I've really been trying and working on hard yeah. and getting past the wall. Yeah. And, 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 sort of and the thing is, the but to do that, what you've done is to try and get past all with your old technique, you just hit it harder. Yeah. And then when you do get a good strike, as you will do every now and then, and then, then go six foot past, you know, a lot of But again. also, it goes, it goes past and right. Yeah. So always exactly. And then you're in the shit. Exactly. exactly. Like yeah. Downhill putt. Exactly. Downhill putt. But we saw those two putts we had there. I gave you a left to right putt and a right to left putt. Every putt behind the one that went in missed right. Yeah. So the left to right, which we'd expect to go right, even the right to lefters, were still missing right of the flag there. So, okay. right. so we can get that strike correct. And again, I'd say, and you can put two golf balls down there. Do it for like five minutes a day in your lunch break or something. You put two golf balls and just swing the club back and through. Boom, 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 boom. Continual swings. Just get used to striking the golf ball there with a consistent strike. And then when you get those golf balls through the lines and get the ball rolling end over end over end, you're going to start putting better. Yeah. Thanks, Ed. Makes perfect sense. Good man.